Hi everybody, my name is Aaron Benson, also known as Wingnut SC, and I'm a StarCraft II commentator. But in addition to that, I get to review some cool products sometimes, and today I have got one that will not disappoint. But first, let me raise an interesting situation to you that is probably common to most people. You're a LAN gamer. What do you put all of your peripherals in when you go to a LAN? Maybe a backpack, maybe a, a reusable shopping bag or something, or if you're like me, it's a giant plastic Rubbermaid tub, or in this case, Sterilite. Either way, it's a terrible idea, because what happens? All of your expensive, cool peripherals just sit in the tub and get mashed together. You've got your headset, you got your keyboard, your mouse, your discs just flying around. Uh, I, I went to a little bit of an extreme and put my uh, little plastic cover over my DOS keyboard at least, but nonetheless, you've got stuff sitting on it, mashing on the keys while you're driving in your car to your LAN party not a good solution. Especially if you've got nice shiny stuff like a DOS keyboard or a headset that's got a polished finish on the outside or those discs. I mean, you get those discs scratch up, what happens when your computer dies at the LAN party and you have to reformat and reinstall everything? Don't tell me that's never happened to you. But, thankfully, there's DOS keyboard and the bright minds there to come up with a really cool product which is called the Gaming Sling. I just took the plastic bag off of it. Didn't see that. So, just like their other bags, if you haven't seen them, nice DOS keyboard logo at the bottom. Looking at the outside, it's got a really nice finish. Uh, the top is a sort of matte, flat, plastic type finish, but it's real thick, real strong. Uh, the rest is a fabric-y type. On the back is a nice big pad. This is what will be pushing up against your back while you're waiting in line at your LAN party. It's kind of that uh, breathable material like in most golf shirts, so uh, it'll keep it padded and make it so it doesn't make a, a sweaty spot on your back because you don't want to start a LAN party already sweating. Uh, but let's open this up and take a look at the inside. It is held together all by one zipper that goes all the way around the outside. So, what is that? Opening it up. On the inside, we've got some pretty cool features here. There is a zipper pouch. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of narrow, you can't put a lot in there, but it'd be a good spot for your network cables, your DVI cables, or if you take any uh, game controllers with you, maybe. A couple flip pouches here for anything that you might have that's small. This one is actually two separate little pouches, so maybe a cell phone or a charger or something like that if you want to slip in there. Same thing, only a slightly bigger one. So there's that, and then down below we've got a spot to put in all of your install discs in case you are uh, of that inevitable fate that your computer dies and you have to reinstall Windows or install your games. And then under that is where you will store your main stuff. There's a couple of plastic padding things, don't need those, get rid of those. But first thing I see that I really love is under the disc flap we have a nice little felt pad. So assuming that you're going to be putting your DOS keyboard in here, which will be right here under these nice straps to hold it in place, this felt pad is going to be a really nice surface for uh, that to sit on so it doesn't scratch anything up. So that's really cool. And then over here, also that same kind of felt material in the headset area where you will be putting your headset. And in the middle, a nice little rectangle spot for your mouse. Uh, all associated cords keep everything nice and protected. So we'll close this up, close that up. So overall, you know, there's another little DOS keyboard logo there, just in case you forgot. Uh, and really, I mean, look at look at this even. There's on the back these. It isn't just a flap. There's actually this piece is an extra piece on the outside, so it's like a double layer sort of thing, and nice and stiff. But really nice package. But let's get our stuff out of our awful plastic bin, stick it in here, and see how it'd be going to a LAN party. All right, here we are. We have our DOS keyboard sling all opened up on our desk and ready to load our peripherals in. Let's see how everything fits. So I'm gonna start out with, uh, I'm just reaching into my horrible plastic bin over here. Let's start out with probably one of the simplest things is all of our discs. These are just blank, unlabeled discs. Uh, we can slide these right into our pouch here. You also see how fast you can get ready and packed up for a LAN party. There's those, got those in there. And next, uh, I think we'll put in our headset. So this is my headset. I'm just gonna stick it in here, put everything down in there. Wind up my cables, and you can just kind of loop your cables up in here. There's lots of room to 
wind it up and just stick it right here in the top. That's what I found works best. Next, with our mouse. This is my uh, spare gaming mouse here because I didn't want to unhook my other one. So I'm just going to stick this. It's actually a fairly large, large mouse too. So, you know, that's the other thing I was going to note is uh, there is room in here for pretty much all sizes of headset and mice. So if you've got one of those ginormous audiophile headsets, that should fit just fine too. Or a more standard one. I'm just going to wrap this up here and put it inside. Lots of room to just stick that on top there. Everything's all tight and snug. So next, of course, you need your DVI cable. So I'm just going to use that, uh, that small pouch in the top there for my cables. So I'll use it this here, and stick that in. As with anything that's DOS keyboard, I'm really always impressed with uh, the build quality. I mean, if you look at all these seams here, they're all very heavy duty material, very heavy duty thread. So they're sewn up well, they're not gonna come apart like a lot of things. This actually here is, uh, uh, I just noticed that this has some Velcro on it and is adjustable, so this whole little headset area thing you can move back or forward to make bigger or smaller. Of course we need our power cable. I'm just going to throw that in with my DVI cable here on top. Zip that up. So now I have my keyboard. So now that I'm not carrying around my plastic tub I can, uh, I could, I do like being overprotective, but I, I could leave this on, but for the sake of this I'm just going to take it off. I have a blue switch here, and undo our little plastic strap, toss that in, lots of room, as you can see it's almost like it was made for a DOS keyboard, who would have thought? Um, wind up our cable, toss that in, doesn't have to be anything super fancy, strap it down, all nice and secure, try and keep my cable off to the top of it here so we don't get extra rubbage of that. Now, as you'll see, this nice a uh, nice felt surface here. When you fold that down on top of your keyboard, it not only provides even pressure on everything, so it doesn't just mash on a key or two. I mean, you've been in the situation where you throw all of your stuff in a backpack or a plastic tub like me, and uh, you know, you've got a headset or something that's just mashing down on a certain set of keys, and you know, it maybe isn't going to hurt them right away, but it's over time going to cause extra wear and tear. And also the nice shiny finish of a DOS keyboard like this, uh, you want to keep that nice. So. That felt surface there will keep that very nice, and I've also got a uh, you know little earplugs. Who doesn't go to a LAN party without earplugs? And uh, the perfect little pouch for those is uh, right up in there. And so I think I've got all of my stuff in there. I do have a network cable, and I'm just going to go ahead and toss that on top. So now that all my stuff is in, I'm all set. Close it up and find my zipper. Zip it right up. Notice it's got kind of a uh, lots of extra fabric here, so when it's full, it uh, has some room to expand. You can see this end is a little fuller than this end, but overall, um, you know, everything fits in there really good. I can tell it's not. I didn't have to like cram it down to try and get everything zipped up, so it fits all of my gear comfortably. Uh, nothing is crammed in there, and I've literally got just about everything I need for a LAN party. And look at my plastic bin; it's completely empty. And uh, on top of that, now I don't, as I bang my tripod with it, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to carry that around. So let's, uh, let's give this a try on and see how she fits. All right, we got all of our stuff in our gaming sling. We've ditched our plastic bin, and let's throw this puppy on and get ready to go to our land party. As you can see, it just slides on over your head, nice and easy. Uh, it feels really great. I actually didn't have to adjust it, uh, but if you need to, it's got an adjustable strap. To make it longer or shorter, but the best part is I've got all of my peripheral stuff in here, which is normally incredibly awkward to carry around, and it feels like, it honestly feels like I've almost got nothing on. It's really comfortable. The weight is spread out nicely from my shoulder down to my hip here on the strap, and the weight also is nice and even on my back. You can see the shoulder strap starts out wide here, tapers down into the strap part uh, to where it comes across, and also these plastic buckles here and down here are in inconspicuous places so they don't create a pressure point. The back, the, the red breathable padding starts out of my lower lumbar, comes all the way up to my shoulder blades, so the entire portion of the bag that's pushing my back is that nice soft breathable padding. So it won't make any hot spots and you know, a lot of land parties you have to park your car, 
and then come back, walk to the lane area or wait in line for a while, and this will leave your hands open. I uh, want to carry around that bin, won't have to do anything else. You can have an arm for your tower, an arm for your monitor, or if you've got a huge tower like me, you have both arms for your tower and you just have to make one extra trip, but no big deal. And also, you know, the other thing too is when you, uh, you don't want to leave your stuff sitting around a LAN party, so if it's an overnight thing you're going to leave, you can easily just throw all of your expensive peripherals in your bag, take it with you for the night, and then uh, bring it back in the morning. And, you know, as you can see in the back, you walk around with this thing, it looks really awesome. I mean, the finish is nice, it feels nice, and overall, it's just really cool. All right, now that we've had a chance to unpackage, load all of our stuff in, try it on. We've seen how awesome of a thing it is, but we just want to take one more look at here at some of the more interesting features. Number one feature that I love, absolutely love, is this uh, disc pouch is a little bit rigid and has this felt on the back. Best thing, so any weight you have on top or any pressure is spread out across your keyboard so it's not jamming in any one or two keys. And also it is a nice soft surface to keep the shiny DOS keyboard nice. Also, fits most larger headsets. This is a, a decently sized headset, fits in here just great, along with my mouse. No problems there. Also, that nice felt. Construction is really great. All the materials are nice and thick. Zippers are thick, so you won't be having any jam zippers or anything. No one likes that. Um, only thing that you might want to keep in mind is if you have a really, really large keyboard, like, uh, say, one of these Microsoft ones, it may have a little bit of an issue fitting in there. It definitely appears that you could jam it in, um, <clears throat> but it would definitely be a tight fit, so... Uh, if you've got one of the freakishly huge keyboards like that, you might want to keep that in mind. But any standard size keyboard, certainly any DOS keyboard, which is the only keyboard you should have in my opinion, uh, will fit in here just fine without any problems. So with that, uh, everything, I was super happy to do this review. It's a great product. I highly recommend you go out and get it. I'm Aaron Benson, a.k.a. WingnutSC. You can find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash WingnutSC or at WingnutSC and also on Facebook at facebook.com slash wingnetsc. Thank you for joining me today, and like I said, go out and get yourself a gaming sling. And now, with that, I'm Aaron signing out. See you next time.